Pauline, who's in Preston. Hiya, Pauline. Hello. Hello, right, love. Hello. Yes. Right, um, we've been talking about um, prostitutes. We, we've mentioned them. We have, yes. Well, you have. I haven't. Yes. Um, right. Um, the thing is, where's love? Where's love disappeared to? Where's love gone? Yes. Exactly. I mean, Where is it? a man is only going to go to a prostitute if his wife or his partner is uh, not delivering. Yeah. Well, who's, who's whispering love? Oh, it's my husband. He's, he's just come out of the loo. I'm just telling him on the radio. Oh, she's on the radio to Scotty McClue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. Quite right. Um, you know, um, we're on about prostitutes again. Yes. Oh, we're coming back to Sorry, coming back to where he put us off there, didn't he? I know. Coming out of the loo like that. <laughs> didn't he coming out of the loo? Coming out of the loo like that. Frank, oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Right. Has he closed the door? Like? He has, yeah. Oh, thank God. Right. Oh, no, goodness me. Goodness gracious right. me, the canary will collapse. All right, can make a living out of it. Right, and well, it depends what you call a living. I mean, a lot of, a lot of these drug addicts are sort of supplementing exactly, their habit. yes. It's still wrong, isn't it? It's illegal and it's immoral. It's not, it's not much of a living love prostitution, is it? No, because it leads you into other things. And yes. as you say, they, they might have a drug habit or something. I mean, something's got to... I mean, well, nobody's going to do that because they enjoy it, are they? No. You know, let's let's be honest about it. Right. You know. So, I mean, if you get to that stage in your life they you can give your body away right, to someone who you don't even know... And, and, uh, I feel, I actually feel very sorry for prostitutes. Well, so Because, because, because I think they're effectively fallen women. Yes. You know. Well, when are they going to find love then? True I'd, love. Well, they won't find true love. You see, I'd like to set up a fund for the fallen women to stop people going in the streets. Well, so would I. But, they're going to do it. It's, it's gone throughout the ages, hasn't it? I mean, when yeah, I... Yeah, but it's, it's probably time to put a stop to it now. What, you think me and you could do it between us? <laughs> Just say, right. Could I stop it, love? I'll go on the game. Could you stop? They're not going to, are they? No, they're not going to because uh, it makes them a few quid. Right, it makes them a few quid. Yes. How much? Well, I don't know, love. I've, I've never been to a prostitute. Well, that's it, you see. It, it's the difference between a few quid, Scotty, and a few hundred. Well, it's not going to cost you a few hundred, is it? Well, I don't know. Some of them are professionals, aren't they? Okay. Now, even at that, love, it's only, I mean, I mean, no man in the right mind pays for sex. Oh, it does. You know, you can get stacks of it for note. But there are the men that go out and... Uh, I mean, why is this yeah, but I mean, what sort of idiot would pay for sex? Come on, be honest about I know, it. No, I don't think you know, come on, the girls are falling over themselves anyway. I mean, women are falling over themselves for a bit of the one-two right, buckle match. Okay, shit. then let, let, let's. Is it the type of man that's at home, right? He's got his lovely little house and his superb family and everything that's going right, and the wife's busy working and she doesn't want sex anymore because she's going through the menopause or whatever. Yeah. Right. So, so do you um, think sex should stop at the menopause then? I don't. I certainly don't. But he seems to go out, right? Curb crawls and his car is in. Yeah, all right. You don't need to advertise the cars, though. Right, no. It's <laughs> nothing to do with cars. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to categorise people here. So then they're, they're, they're curb crawling and... Um, they're, well, that's they're illegal. Right. That's illegal, isn't it? Yeah. But I need something because I'm a busy man and I've worked hard for this. And I need some sort of relief. Well, the last thing you need is some uh, uh, hired bud paying for sex, love. Well, they're there. And they know they're there, so they're going to go for them, aren't they? They'd be better slipping the missus 20 quid. Uh, exactly. Or taking the shopping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So, I mean, this is how it works. I mean, it, 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 it's a sad story. What so you, uh, what you're really saying is that only sad people go to prostitutes, and prostitu only prostitutes are uh, only sad people are prostitutes. Yes, exactly. They're both sad. All of them are sad. They're lacking in love and affection. Yeah. Right. And if they found it within wherever they were, yes, whatever circle they were in, yes, be it through their family or the way they were brought up or whatever. They would find love, and once you find love, you don't need to... You don't need prostitutes, do you? Exactly. You don't need an orgasm. There's a difference between orgasm and love, Scotty. What, what's right. that, then? Well, an orgasm's a tingle, and love is forever. Right. Right. 
Yeah, we are there. Oh, okay, there you are. Yes. Now I'll say dinky do to you. So the I'll things that <laughs> the things that are seen are transitory, the things that are unseen are eternal. Okay. Right. That's Ab it. Hey, absolutely. Very okay. Good. All right, love you. Right. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. Bye bye, love it. Bye. Bye bye now. Right, there you are. Uh, very interesting. So, uh, in other words, we actually don't need prostitutes. There isn't actually a need for it. It's a false need. It's created by sad people uh, going to see sad people. Right, Chris from St. Anne's. Hello. Hey, hang on a second, Chris. One line three, folks. Have you been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing? Try your hand or ring the bell. There you go. Line three, line three, hit the phones big time. Sorry, Chris, right. Oh, God, you nearly deaf me I'm that. sorry about that, mate. It's only fair, though, because people try and try and try and try and try, and they can't get on, and they complain, and you can't get on this flaming program. Oh, well, look, it, this is actually, I've, I've listened to you for years. I mean, a lot of years. Have you been going along? You've been going a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been going along, and this is the first time I've ever phoned through. Well, welcome. Delightful to hear from you, I say. Yeah, yeah, I thought I'll just try it just for once, see how it... Uh, see, no, see if you enjoy it. Try it once. Uh, you always try it once and see if you enjoy it. And well, everybody that rings, Scotty McClure tends to love ringing, so there you go. <laughs> and there's even a woman from Lincoln fell in love with me tonight. Yeah, I heard about that. She must be really in love with you. She fancies uh, me big time. She must be. You must be, uh... Well, it's it's two eyes are blue. Scotty McClure is after you. Yeah, yeah. She you must be... You must be that, uh, sexy for her or something like that. Very handsome, very handsome. Well, really she, she just fell for me. She fell for me, big star. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She likes sexy, sexy men. Yeah, well, she's an alien man. Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm not paying for it. No, absolutely. No, no man should ever have to pay for sex because the stacks of it are about for zero. Oh, yeah, well. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And there's madness. Why Why would you pay for sex, you know? Well, I don't know. I don't even say that. Don't you think a man pays for it? Million of most of his life. So if, uh, he gets, if he gets himself a woman, what are you implying? Are you implying that all women are to a greater or lesser extent on the game? Well, no, I'm not implying that they are on the game. I'm just saying that a man somewhere along his life is paying for it. He'll go out, he'll take a woman for a drink, and he'll say, "Look, I'll take you for a drink." At the end of the night, he's expecting something. If he doesn't get to, he'll say, "Well, I never took you for a drink." So if he goes to a so he's wasted, he's wasted a few half the lager. No, half the lager, whatever he wants. Sure. Yeah, I mean, so along the line, it, 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 it balances itself, doesn't it, really? I yes, mean, I see what you mean. So if you, if you bought a few half the lager, you know, then you've had a, a, a good time afterwards, then you're okay. Well, yeah, see, you bought a few half the lager at the end of the night, and he's expecting something, isn't it? You know, he's, he's thinking to himself. Well, you seem to know more about this than me. Well, you, like any man does, doesn't it, really? He, he goes out there and gets his, you know, he gets his into a club and he thinks to yourself, I'll pick something up, I'll buy a few drinks, I'm going to get some at the end of the night. Yes, you might pick up more than you bargained for, though. That's it, that's true, yeah, might do. Yes, it might bring a whole new meaning to the seven-year itch. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's true. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've got to think of that as well. Yeah, do, I mean, ooh. But I can yeah. never see, I can never see a situation when a man should have to pay for sex. Oh, no, no, they shouldn't be, really, they shouldn't be. Because that means his missus or his partner's not, uh, not up to scratch. Well, well, it comes to the reason, it comes to some reason, if he's married, why is his missus not up to scratch? Exactly. Why is it not? I mean... Well, well, I think the problem is we don't train the missus nowadays. Well, that's it, I mean, myself, I'm uh, just separating from my wife. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he either dies off or there's something, I mean, if he, there's no saying if he can't get it, Tell him go somewhere else and get it. Yes, yes, but there should be very little reason why he shouldn't get it at home. Well, that's it. If he's in, you know, if he's a good marriage, he should be there. But should be there, big style. Yeah, because he should. I mean, but I can't understand the talk about prostitution being the oldest profession, and I just cannot understand how it comes about that a man has to pay for sex. Yes, no. That's true, they shouldn't be really. Because um, there are women out there just yeah. crying out for men. Yeah, but why does, the, why does the prostitute do it in one way? Why does she do it? Well, a lot of them, I suppose, are feeding drug habits and things like that, because nobody's going to do that for fun. Mm. I mean, I, some years ago, I used to work the taxes, and I used to, I, we had one, uh, we had to pick it up. Uh, it was actually embarrassing, really, because you had to pick it up and drop it off where it was, and I used to talk to her. Yes. And I used to say to her, why do you do it? And then you, they always get the excuses, is, I've got a child and I don't get enough money from the state. Well, yes, but I mean, the rest of us are uh, on, on state benefits and all the rest of it, and have managed absolutely fine. I mean, I used to sign on, I wasn't on the game. Oh, yeah, I've never heard of a man going on the game. Oh, there's lots of men in the game. Is it? Oh, you haven't lived, love. 
Absolutely. I've never seen a man on the street corner. Oh, yes. Yes, you might not expect uh, them to be doing what they do. No, right. I'm going to say, I've never seen a man on the street corner. Right. Uh, with his uh, sussy, well, he won't be, but he is suspended. Now, well, you mustn't judge everybody by yourself now. Okay, I'm good now. Uh, calm down. And dinky do, calm down. I will, though. I'll have to go. Right, you'll have to calm down, love. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs>